In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings to each of you on this Tuesday in June as we look forward to Father's Day. I am thankful for the interesting insight that God gives us in Psalm 39. Very near the end, God says, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am a sojourner with you, a guest like all my fathers. Never before had I ever thought of my father as being a guest or my grandfather. And then I am realizing that if God says that of my father, then that makes me a guest also. It was just 10 days ago that we sang, this is my father's world. So when God refers to us as guests, that puts an interesting perspective on my life. As guests, we try to be respectful to the one who has invited us to their home. Every father, as a guest of God, will try to do the same for him. As the psalm reminds us, I will guard my ways, I will guard my mouth. Recognizing who our Creator is, and that our life is like a journey, it is natural to say, O oh Lord, make me know my end and what is the measure of my days? Let me know how fleeting I am. If your father or mother is still living, make use of these fleeting moments. And that is why it's good to have a special day when you can talk with them or visit them. And please remember our Father in heaven. The hymn says, Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in his bosom gather, nesting bird nor star in heaven, such a refuge e'er was given. God his own doth tend and nourish, in his holy courts they flourish, from all evil things he spares them, in his mighty arm he bears them. If at all possible, plan to be a guest in God's house on Father's Day. As verse 7 declares, my hope is in you. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Amen.